So sa video na to, i-discuss ko sa inyo yung iba't ibang methods ng pagpuprove ng theorem. So, meron ako nilista ditong lima. So, simulan na natin. So, yung unang method ay yung tinatawag na direct proof. So, yung direct proof in logic, nasa form lang siya ng P implies Q. So, you have to prove uh, if P is true, then Q must be true. So, yung pangalawa naman, we have the indirect proof. So, sa indirect proof, meron tayo tatawag na proof by contrapositive and proof by contradiction. So, sa pagpuprove natin, gamit ng contrapositive, so, to prove P implies Q, so, it is logically equivalent to not Q implies not P. So, pag na-prove natin na totoo to, so, totoo na rin yung statement na to. Then, for contradiction, so, P implies Q is logically equivalent to not Q and P implies a contradiction. So, notation natin ay F sub 0. Then, for number 3, we have proof by cases. So, ang form niya ay ito. So, to prove uh, this, so, it is logically equivalent to uh, P1 implies Q and P2 implies Q. So, if this is true and this is true, so this statement will be true. And, uh, prove na natin yung statement na ito. And then, yung number 4, meron tayo tinatawag na mathematical induction. So, alam natin, uh, in mathematical induction, uh, meron tayo tinatawag na basis step, which is verification, and then the inductive step. So, we assume that uh, for all n, that is true, we have to prove that for n plus 1, uh, it also must be true and then yung last so meron tayong tiyatawag na P implies Q1 or Q2 so to prove uh, this such a statement so it is logically equivalent to this statement so inat natin si Q1 and then uh, conjunct natin kay P so, suppose Q1 is false. So, um, retain what we know about P. So, you need to uh, arrive at the proposition Q2. So, I hope uh, nakatulong itong video na to. And thanks for watching.